Hello and welcome. I'm the Autistic Modeler. Today, we're going to be building the 63 Chevy 2 Station Wagon. This is a pretty cool kit. Come on in. I'll show it to you. Well, first of all, let's take a look at this box. Isn't that cool? Now, that's somebody's artwork. That is great. They made it look like the old packaging. Very cool. Gas cans, a helmet, toolbox. I guess that's a parachute. We'll see. And on this side, got the custom version. Engine, looks like a Hemi. Cool decal sheet. Over here, look at all these versions you could do. All this stuff. Comes with a six cylinder. Or racing engines with a little trailer. Cool stuff. Let's open it up. Here we go. All right. All right, well, look at this. This chrome. So much chrome here. Some wire wheels. Custom pieces, pipes. Custom stuff galore on this. Look at that there. Like a brake drum. Valve cover, custom. There's some more stuff. There's our stock hubcaps, a grill, a bumper. There's some stock mirrors, I guess, what those are. Or spotlights, I don't know. It's got a real, real tape recorder. That's pretty neat. Custom parts. Parachute, custom wheels. Looks like a torque wrench right there. Can you see that? That's pretty cool. And there's our body. Now, from my understanding, this is retooled, not just copied off the original. This was new from the ground up that uh, Round 2 and AMT did on this. So you can see the much more detail under the hood than the originals. This is pretty nice. Let's look at the interior. There's our interior. Front seat's molded in, but that's all right. We can make that look pretty good. All right, let's see what else. Here's our windows. A separate front glass, a rear wagon glass. We got some red pieces here, some lights and stuff. And then we got like a Commissioner Gordon phone. You see that red phone? It's pretty crazy. And then here's some other stuff. Here's the bottom. Molded in again. That's all right. We can make it up detail nice. Here's a squirrel. How about that? That's pretty crazy. Nice steering wheel, stock wheels. Dashboard, nice and crisp. See that? Really sharp. All right. Oh, here's that six-cylinder engine. Now, my General Motors aficionados would know or not if this is a 194 six-cylinder. I'm guessing that's what it looks like. My older brother had a Nova with a six-cylinder that looked like that at one time. I think it was a 62 model. But uh, this is a really nice-looking engine. And then uh, here's a custom engine. That's pretty cool. It's like, that's a Hemi. That's a Hemi engine. That's pretty slick. And there's some more custom skirts, roof rack thing, another fan. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows, put it down in the comments. What is that guy? There's our helmet. Console, custom pieces. Steering column. Pretty crazy. All right, here's that little trailer. That's pretty neat. Little fenders on it. Pretty cool. There's our gas cans. These wheel backs there. There's a toolbox. Pretty cool stuff. There's all the white walls. Comes with white walls for the car and the trailer. And then, there's this is pretty neat. Look at that. Pretty cool stuff. And here's our book. That's pretty neat. I like how they made it look like old style stuff. Pretty neat. And there's our decal. Let's take those out and look at them. Those are great. I really like that ambulance version. Racy. This is really cool. Dragster. All right, well, I'm going to look over the book and their options and maybe Google-eye some pictures and see what we come up with. 
All right, stick with me.
Well, it's that time again. That's right. Final assembly. Let's take a look at what we got. Well, first of all, let's look at that body. That turned out excellent. Really nice detail that came out on this. I really enjoyed those taillights. That feels great. Nice stuff. Body is really crisp. Nice detail under the hood. And there's our front and rear bumpers. There's our interior. And I put the reel-to-reel uh, -reel recorder, kind of like the one from the old Mission Impossible. If you choose to accept, this tape will self-destruct. Remember those? That's pretty cool. And then there's our uh, our engine. It's a six-cylinder. Turned out really good. Basic underneath. And I reused those craggers left over from the Dodge Convertible a video that I did recently. They went on this really well. Looks good. And there's our hood, air filter, radiator, and radiator hose. Trailer hitch. And there's this little trailer. Look at that. That's really cool. It's got some new slicks in there, some tools. Now on these wheels, I took a red Sharpie over the white wall to make it a red line. And then I used the kit wheels. And then this little hubcap is actually the headlight bucket for the custom version flipped over and then glued in there to make a little hubcap out of it. It turned out really neat. This is a neat little trailer. So when we come back, it'll be all finished. So stick with me. Okay, we're back. Here it is, all finished. The 63 Chevy 2 station wagon with trailer. This was a really fun build. I really enjoyed it. Uh, this is exciting. Really cool stuff going on here. And look at this extra engine it came with. The racing engine. Now, it didn't come with these spark plug wires, but I had one of these wire distributors. I've never used them before. And I thought that turned out really neat. And then I made the pipes look like they've gotten hot, you know, when they're getting it ready for their drag car. Pretty cool. And then here's our trailer. I added some slicks in there for their race car. You know, pretty cool stuff. The toolbox, decals, pretty neat. And then here's our wagon. This turned out great. I really am happy with the way this turned out. And there's our wheels that we saved from our Dodge convertible video earlier. And it has that little six cylinder in it. Turned out really nice. Very nice car. And there's our underneath. Pretty cool. I'm really, I'm really, really happy the way this turned out. This turned out excellent. And I do plan on buying more of these. This is a great kit. It really was fun to build. I had no trouble putting it together. Nothing was fiddly or you know, had to force it or modify it at all. Everything fit as it should. And uh, th I can't recommend this anymore. This is a great kit. So uh, go out and get yourself one. Well, I'm glad you were here to watch me build this. And until next time, I'm the Autistic Modeler. Happy modeling.